All right, welcome back. Uh, I have my off and on crush on the show today. Hmm. I will tell you why I say off and on, you know. But then um, she's making her sophomore appearance on the show, and uh, she's much more beautiful than she was the first time, Aww. you know. Yeah, she's looking lovely. Anyways, As okay. Um, it's <laughs> the last to be breakfast show. I've got Kiki O'Mealy in the house. It is great to have you on the show. How you doing? The first time she was my first crush was... Um, it was, I think it was Dance 2, 3, 4. Yeah, she was my off and on crush. She was a crush when I saw it. And then I think when a, a group I liked lost out and the way she spoke about it, she was not my crush again for a while. <laughs> but then I think when I found, when she so came nice. on the show, I found out she, she's, she's a doctor and everything. I was like, wow. Yeah. You know, I, do, I don't claim to be sapiosexual yet, yeah, but hey, come on. It's great to have you on the show. You are welcome. Hi, thank yeah. you You're so welcome. much. Why is this the first time hearing about all this? Wow. The first time, you know, you see, the first you time was just fronting. introduction. Yeah, yeah but, but now we, we have more of a bond to understand ourselves now. You're welcome. <laughs> great to you have so you. Thank you so much. Good to see you. What's up with you? There's been, I mean, we've been here. You've been picking all the awards, yeah. doing all the things. <laughs> no, you new Nollywood guys. Are you? Do you? you do you describe yourself as part of new Nollywood? New Nollywood? I just describe myself as Nollywood. Oh, cool. Honestly, okay. cool. I'm just I like Nollywood. that. I like that because there's been that argument. Oh, Nollywood, old Nollywood, new yeah. Nollywood, but and all to be, of that. To be honest, I think new Nollywood just means oh, new faces, like faces that haven't been there since forever. I mean, okay. just a new crop of faces. And guess what? We won't be there forever because new faces sure. are going to come. Some faces, yes. Yeah, well. This is new faces. I've started. We've started to see them so too much. So maybe those that will be the newer Nollywood. Yeah, <laughs> new West and the <laughs> The New West, West you know. Okay, but then um, you let's start from your awards. You won uh, about three awards this year. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, this year has been really good. Um, wow, I wish I could say so. <laughs> okay, but then let's go. <laughs> this year has been really good. I mean, so many nominations. Um, oh, I picked up my first international yeah. nomination. Wow. Yes, uh, the us about Berlin it. International Film Festival. Wow. That was for my role in the movie Deluded, which wow. was directed by Dipo Abdul. It was a short film. It was a short film? Um, yes, okay. it was a short film. So yeah, first international nomination. Yay! Wow, that's, <laughs> that's, that's me. Thank you so much. Um, this year, I also picked up the City People Award for the Best Supporting Actress. Wow. And I also picked up the Lagos 30 Under 40 Award for Aww. Best Actress. So, yeah, Man. and, and a couple of other nominations. But well, yeah, it's been good. It's yeah, been Bruno. good. <laughs> <laughs> because we're in an industry, we're in an industry that that recognizes the the awards. You know, awards is just that is more or less like a pinnacle for an actress or something to be recognized against your position and all that. There's a number of people coming up and all over. Let's talk about your latest project. You have a premiere coming up on yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Yes. On Saturday, let's talk about that. Uh, um, yes. What movie is that? That movie is called The Happiness Limited. Um, okay. That also stars Tokwe Tedela. And don't tell us about some stars. Just, we just want to know about you. Don't tell us about some people that feel that okay. they were part of the movie okay, and so they are out here. <laughs> okay, don't so tell us about that. Just tell us about you. And Tokwe, yes, tell us about Tokwe and you. Oh, because you like Tokwe. Ah, that's, a, that's, my, that's my guy. That's my guy. <laughs> yeah, Tokwe is cool. I mean, okay. it, it's a cool movie. It's, it's one of a kind. It's not your average movie. Sure. Uh, sure. Tokwe's character had to go into makeup for like two hours every day before every filming. Day. Yeah, it was that kind of film. Wow. Yeah, and um, my character in this movie is a prostitute. Yeah. <laughs> that's not something very I've ever played. Very different from the Yeah, that's not something I've ever housewife. played. This is very different. Yeah, from, from the roles I usually play, yeah. Because most of the time I play either the sexy siren, uh, the husband snatcher, or the suffering wife, or the kidnapper. <laughs> you know, so yeah, this is different. This is different. Yeah. But man, you, you will suit the role. I don't need to make you up too much. Mm -hmm. If you just stand up with this one, oh, <laughs> this is not okay. a okay. problem. Um, oh Kiki, my goodness. Kiki, it is um, World AIDS Day. Yes. And then is. I know that you have a short film, your short film that you produce, yes. Unprotected. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know that there's a lot that people don't know because the World AIDS Day is about enlightening people and educating them on what to, measures, things to do to avoid HIV, getting that virus. Yes. Would you like to talk about it and the experience and why you went into shooting that film? Um, okay. I don't think there could have been a better day to come on this show. I mean, mm -hmm. World AIDS Day, right? Um, the film Unprotected, the short film Unprotected, was inspired by something I witnessed when I was a medical student at the College of Medicine, University of Lagos. And um, I mean, when I saw that, that experience, it just stayed with me because I thought to myself, oh my goodness, this could have been avoided. Like, why? And uh, I mean, when the opportunity, I mean, I always knew I would tell that story if the opportunity ever came up. And when it did, I didn't even hesitate. I didn't even think twice about it. I just went for it. Uh, the short film is directed by Stan Yohikwari. Who is okay. someone I work uh, mm -hmm. quite a lot with, yes, and... Um, um, the director of uh, Born in Man, right? 
He made some news. Yeah. He made some news with yeah, that. Yeah, that movie you know? was called Behind the Wheel. Behind the Wheel, yeah, yeah. but we know it because of Bonnie yeah. Man. That's all we know. He just changed the, <laughs> the name of the movie to sell <laughs> more. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, so um, Unprotected just really seeks to educate people about certain behavioral patterns and how if they change certain things about themselves, they are more likely you know, not to get the virus, and also to protect the people around them, because our actions can also affect the people we love, you know, whether we know it or not. Wow. So, yeah, that's unprotected in a nutshell. And, but, and yes, it deals with HIV. It deals with HIV? Yes, it yeah. does. Wow, wonderful. Well, no, you said it was from a personal experience. You, you, you don't, do you want to share that experience? Um, well, when I was a medical student, um, I remember there was this very beautiful little girl that came into the, the hospital and her mother looked like she had the weight of the world on her shoulders, you know, and we were wondering, I mean, why does, and the girl was just playing around, she was so happy, she was so, you know, and then we got to, to hear the story, you know, about how she, she had to have a surgery and somewhere along the line, they ran out of blood for the surgery and they transfused her with her father's blood Mm -hmm. And he turned out to be HIV positive, so she got the virus. I, I, it was just so sad because she was just such a beautiful little girl. And I was like, oh, come on, you know. Wow. And even though ideally those measures, I mean, there should have been measures that would have been taken before she would have been transfused. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's Nigeria, so all kinds of things happen. All kinds of things that should never happen happen in Nigeria. So um, I decided to do that film based on this particular yeah. event, you know, okay. just so people see. Um, I mean, your actions mm -hmm. can actually can have actually devastating affect. consequences for your family. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great one, great one. All right, let's move back to the industry. I get to ask uh, this question to whenever um, actors and actresses come around and all of that. As an industry, how far have we come? How far have we been able to come? How far Nollywood? has Nollywood come as an industry? To be honest, I'm very proud of Nollywood. I'm mm. very, very proud, yes. I say this because I think I came into the industry at a time when big things were happening at a time when filmmakers who were very talented and passionate about what they do, you know, were determined to do, you know, different projects, projects that were different from the ones we usually see. Um, I saw 76 a couple of days mm. ago. I was so proud. I was wow. so, so proud. I mean, uh, this came out in Hollywood. We know it's a big budget film. Mm -hmm. It's not like the film didn't have the usual budget, budget and, and it, okay. took, it took a while. But you know, just the fact that things like that can come out of Nigeria is very encouraging. You know, and um, there have been several projects I've been a part of, you know, that I'm so proud of and I can stand anywhere any day and say, oh yeah, you know what? You need to go see this film this because film. it's awesome like that. Um, I want to mention films like Bumog Bumo Express, Couple of Days, even TV series like Lucky Wives. As far as I'm concerned, that's like, international standard and I'm, I'm just proud. How can we compare? Would you, how far, oh, now I'm looking at us with up against Hollywood. Mm. How, how, mm. how far do you think we need to go? What do you think we need to, are we there mm. yet? What no, do you no, think, no, no, no. What, what are the ingredients we, we no, need to? No, we are definitely not there yet. Okay. Um, like I said, things like movies like 76 prove that if we have the right budget and we have the, the right time, you know, to make these movies, then we're gonna come up with things that are just really great and awesome. Asof was here on the show um, so a while back and he said something about some movies that have good budgets. They start because they want to go for equipment, they want to go for technicality, they want to go for uh, beautiful pictures and all of that. They tend to they start losing storytelling. Yeah, Those were his words. I'm just trying to quote him. Do you think that uh, it's, it's valid mm, what he said? Because people, yes. Yes, he has a valid point. Because for a movie to be very good, everything has to come together. Um, apart from having beautiful picture and beautiful locations and beautiful sound, mm -hmm. The, I mean, first things first, the first thing is the story. So if you have all that, if you have all those beautiful pictures and your story is not good, then I mean, nobody's really gonna appreciate it. So everything has to come together. The director has to be someone who knows how to tell a story because sure. at the end of the day, a film is a story being told. Yes. So if you give me beautiful pictures and I mean, beautiful angles, and that you haven't told story. me a story, then, I mean, what have you done, really? Mm. So everything has to come together. I'm talking about a situation where all those things are present. There's a wonderful director, there's a wonderful cast, there's a wonderful story, but then there's no funding, you know, to make a good film. So mm. I just feel like funding is what is missing. Okay, um, 
Guys, you'd agree we are having a beautiful time with Kiki O'Malley. To be a part of the show, you can call in on 0700 triple zero hour to TV, which stands for 0700 triple zero seven two eight eight zero eight one four double zero double zero two eight three and two eight four. Okay, Kiki, you said so much. I feel like you're speaking like you're speaking through me right now. <laughs> I want to ask, okay, I, you know when you sit with actors, like when you're together, like maybe waiting to go on set and all, you talk about things that you need to put in place as actors or as producers in the industry. Yeah. If you had like an opportunity or a chance to lead Nollywood for say a day, a month or a term, what are the things you would change? Oh my goodness, I would change so much. Um, first things first, I've seen some movies that have the potential to be very great, but then you cast someone who cannot carry a role mm. in the role. It happens so. A lot. Yes, it happens a lot. And, and guess what? That just spoils the story. A lot of times, if you watch really good movies, um, the movie is good because every single member of the cast can carry the role that they are supposed to carry. And a movie is supposed to suspend our disbelief. At the time we are watching the film, we are supposed to believe that every single thing is happening. And then a very bad actor comes on your screen and, I mean, mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, you just, we, you just we snap. We quite a you number snap, of those. You... <laughs> yes, we do. Let's go ahead. We do. We do. So we if, do. I, if I was, was going to lead Nollywood for a day, I think that's something that I really would change. Um, How would you change it? I, I, would, I would make filmmakers um, go through like a very rigorous process. casting process. I think I would do that because... I mean, it, it's nice that, you know, people want to act and all that. I mean, it's nice that the industry has actually come to a point where people want to do these Aspire things. Because, yeah, once upon like a time, people would say, no, way. it's only dropouts that want to act, you know. But then at the same time, we as actors, we want to be seen in a good light. We don't want people to watch our movies and laugh because they feel like, what are you guys doing? And that happens a lot if the right person is not cast in a certain role. Wow. Yeah, so I think I would change that. You know, it goes, it goes a bit, yeah. it, it, it affects almost everything. And that culture, I, I, I do, that's where I think we lack a bit as an industry when it comes to um, critiquing. You get to a point where you want to say something and they feel, the, the word they come out is with hater. No matter what you want to say. Sure. You're you saying, not knowing that Hollywood has, you have people that are professional critics and they, they only make your movie better. They can only do that, you know. That I mean, it has happened a number of times. Well, let's t let's talk about this fine boy, fine girl uh, syndrome now. You want to go and you think that this thing, you'll pick one fine boy and you think that God is a fine boy and you'll carry him and put on. And like you said, that believability. It's when a bad actor comes in, it just it just yeah. takes yeah, you, you off. You snap yeah. out I was, of I was watching. Um, I think it was it was the final season of Spartacus, and the actors themselves were watching it and they were crying. They mm -hmm. even believed themselves. Yes. And I think that is what makes an excellent movie. Yes. Yeah. But at the end, yes, as much as these other things are important, I think that number one is the acting. Yes. The story I've, and I've the acting heard. and all yes. that. Okay, but then, this fine boy, fine girl syndrome, is there any way that something can do to stop people? We want to see people on our screens that really, well, you know, Rachel, you know I'm not I'm not leading Nollywood. Yeah. <laughs> I don't exactly. know I don't know what can be done. Exactly. But yes, I understand what you mean about the actors themselves crying. I've been in a couple of movies where I watched and I actually cried. Um, there was one a place called Happy, mm. and there was the other one Oblivious. They were so sad because I believed every single thing though. And people would be like, Kiki, are you joking? Yeah. Like you're in the film. I'm like, yeah, but like I don't feel like I'm watching me. I'm yeah. watching that Something story. Else. Yeah, and it's it's so sad. So that's testament that's testament to the fact that she's a good actress and she saved it herself. <laughs> I love that. Rate yourself. You know, on a scale of uh, one to ten. How do you rate yourself as an, as an actress? I'm, I'm too modest to do that. No, you have to. You have to. I no, am too, I'm on too a scale of one to ten. No. Okay, I go for a casting process and I'm like, uh, you are the um, casting director. Mm -hmm. I am the director. Mm -hmm. Okay? Kiki is here for the audition. So, Kiki, please take your set. Um, can you pass her the, the, the script? script? Okay. Can you pass um, her? I oh. sent the script to you yesterday, so check your... Okay. Um, just she sent the script to you, now. right? Okay, wonderful. Why are you laughing, Kiki? Okay, okay. yes, I did yes. receive okay, this so, script. Um, okay. Well, okay, good. Now, um, now for this, um, I want you to play um, someone who's bipolar. Right? You are a nun, and at the same time, you're a prostitute. And I want to see those characters. I want to see you play those characters. I want to see you read those characters and convince me. But first of all, by the way, before I go on into this, can you, are you sure you can do this? <laughs> I'm sure. Trust me, Kiki will give you that smile, right? Are you sure you can do sure? this? Are you sure, really? Okay. You think so? Okay, let's just go straight to the point. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Bipolar. Uh, play a nun and then play a prostitute. 
Sister Mary Ellis, I thought that we should inform you that according to convent rules, you have been very bad. You have typically disobeyed all our rules in the convent and as a result you will be suspended. Um, what are you talking about? I'm talking <laughs> about the fact, Sister Mary Alice, that yesterday you went missing and nobody really knows where you were. I wasn't... I, Sister Mary Alice, this convent has rules and you will obey them. You will be suspended <gasps> with immediate effect. But I, I was... Just, Sister uh, Mary Alice, please. <laughs> Okay. okay. All right. We'll lose your part. Right. Uh, part two. Let's go. Safana. I did. Safana. You not see me as afraid. Oh boy. Oh, wow. But I mean, now this guy now me customer now. Why yeah. don't they do like you smile and yeah? No near him. Star. Why would they talk like this now? Why they talk like this? This my bros. We should be bros a bros. Safana. Oh yeah. Show, show me. Show me your abilities at once. Oh, let me show your ability, bros. What the fuck? Oh, wonderful, ah. wonderful. I like that. I like that. Um, Kiki, just um, let's run up with this. Just uh, what uh, should we expect from you? Next project coming up, and then uh, social media, how do we hit you up? Oh, next project coming up, I'm going and set to play, well, a doctor. Oh, <laughs> really? Really? A fertility doctor. Well, I usually don't like playing um, a doctor because I like oh, saying okay. that I, I play. I like to play roles that are so far removed from me. I know, but this okay. was just too juicy to pass up. Okay. The movie is called Playing God. And wow. my character actually is a person who gets to play, play God. Wow. Yeah. Great one. Um, yeah. Great one. So that's okay. That's what so I'm social gonna media, ask. how do we hit you up? Um, um, okay. My social can media. Can guys slide into your DM? <laughs> is, your, is your DM still slidable? Seriously? Is your yeah, DM yeah. still slidable? Oh my goodness. Very good question. Is it still slidable? Oh my goodness. I don't even know what that means. Okay, can is, it, is this still slidable? Like, yes. can people send me DMs? Yes. No, can guys send no? Can guys? Is this guys, not is this still can I, can I stop? Can I stop? Slidable? Can I stop? No, you can't stop now. Is this still to? slidable? I need to know because people have been asking me, can I still slide into are a DM? Are you sure some people have been asking you, you are the one that is asking? Ah, my you, you never know. You might never know. <laughs> uh, so, is your DM still slidable? Oh my goodness. Why don't you send me? DM and find okay, out. Okay, all right. So hit us up with the handle. Hit us up with the handle. <laughs> so my social media handles across all social media platforms is Akiki Omidi. That's K I K I O M E I L I. Great yeah. one. Great okay. one. Thank you very much. It's been Thank great you having you. We're looking forward to playing here. God. That would be something. I, I really do think that a number of doctors play God. Mm -hmm. Really. Oh. And that's why some of them don't believe in God. Mm -hmm. Because they play God. Thank you very much for coming Thank on the show. Thank you so much. Okay, it's been a Thursday episode of A Breakfast Show. Thank you for being a part of the show. Welcome to uh, December. Happy New Month. Yay. Kiki, let's say them Happy New Month. Happy, Happy New, new Month. Happy New Month. Yeah, all right. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.